You wake up after a night full of too many red horses. Your head hurts, and you just realized those girls were being so nice to you last night because you were in a go-go bar. You're hungry, and the only thing that will make you whole again is an assortment of fried foods. Today we are in Cebu City, in the Philippines, in a jeepney. Actually, we gotta pay for this, right? Yeah. How much is this? 21 pesos. 21, seven per person. I got 20, do you have one peso? Yeah. Jeepneys in the Philippines are like the local way to get around. Yeah. And everybody kind of pimps out their jeepney in their own way. People riding the jeepney get attracted to more newer ones. So it's like an advertising method. Yeah. Aside from the jeepney today, we are going out for a hangover cure classic of Cebu, Philippines. Something that's only found here yeah. in Cebu called Punko Punko. Yes. What is this meal? It's basically a variety of fried foods placed in a basket. They had these benches around the basket and you just pick random foods that you like. And then uh, because uh, Filipinos love rice, we have this hanging rice or the mm. puso. And so you don't need to wait for the food? No. It's just there? It's just there. Oh, see, I like that. Because there's nothing worse than you have a hangover or you're just, you're tired, you're hungry, and you have yeah. to wait 10 minutes for some food. For some order, yeah. You just show up, there's a basket. It's in a basket of yeah. fried food and you just start picking it out. Pongo means actually to sit. So it just means sit, sit. Yeah. Oh, here it is. I smell the vinegar. I'm gonna just grab a bunch of stuff here. Okay. So this is a lumpia. lumpia. And do we pay after eating? After eating. This one is what again? What's uh, that? Okay, that's pork fat. Oh, this one is just fried pork fat. Yeah. They took a big piece <laughs> of fat and they're like, how could we possibly add more fat to this? <laughs> Let's deep fry it. And this is the ganabo part of the pork intestine. Oh. And this is chicken. Yeah. I think it's pork fat. More pork fat. Yeah. It looks tasty and also very healthy. Would you say um, one of the healthier meals in the Philippines? Probably when you're hangover. <laughs> okay, look, this isn't about being healthy. This is about we need comfort food. This is going to meet our needs, okay? This is going to make us whole again, or at least put us into a food coma where we can sleep off the rest of the hangover. <laughs> is this just straight vinegar? No, that's uh, coconut vinegar. Coconut vinegar? Yeah with some onions and some chilies. And then we've got this. This little thing is called puso. Puso. What it is, is it's, it's rice. Inside of, um, what are these? What kind That's of made of uh, palm leaves. Palm leaves. And these are beautifully braided. It seems very labor intensive, but they're beautiful. And they're perfect then to grab with your hands, yeah. dip into some vinegar. You don't need napkins when you've got plastic bags as gloves. Now, do you double fist it or do you just go no, one I hand? No, just go one hand. Okay, we'll go one hand. Everything's just cut up here. It's ready for us. We have lumpia. Lumpia. Vegetable lumpia. And what would you do? You would just dip it in some vinegar and, and then just eat it? Dip and then you can also get um, onions with it. Okay. Try to pick up a little bit of onion. Yeah. Yeah, I love the vinegar dipping sauce in the Philippines. So how is it? That was awesome. Well, you can't go wrong with a spring roll. The vinegar always has a nice little punch, a little sourness to it. Yeah. With the chili, a little bit of heat. And then we need to balance out that heaviness. So right here, we take the puso. puso. And usually, you dip that too? Yeah, I usually dip that too. Philippines, it's all about dipping. If you've got a food and you're not dipping it, you're probably doing it wrong, right? Yeah. Hey, my man, can I get a Mountain Dew? All right, thank you. Yeah, what's your favorite that's on this plate? The ginabo, definitely. It's the most sinful. This one is the pork ginabot. intestine. Of course, we're gonna put it in vinegar. Thank you, my man. Mmm, so crunchy. Oh, all those organ meats, mmm. All those oil. There's so much oil in there. You need to counter it with some healthy Mountain Dew in a bottle. <laughs> now I feel balanced. So I'm guessing people who live in Manila, in other cities, they come here, maybe they've heard of it, they want to try it out. Yeah, I have some friends who I brought here from Manila. Yeah. And it was, they actually enjoyed it because they don't have this there. It's only here in Cebu. This is pork fat? Yeah, pork fat. So they, I thought the most maybe intense fried thing I'd ever seen was like a fried Snickers in the US. 
but in yeah. the Philippines, you guys have one up that. You just took actual pure fat from the pig, you breaded it, you fried it. I don't know how you get more fat into something than this. Yeah. Let's try it out, dip it in the vinegar. Yeah. That's ridiculous. I didn't expect that to be good. Mm. I seldom see foreigners eating here. For those of you interested in checking out this place, I'm going to put the address and all the information in the info box below so you can come here and you can be that cool foreigner who's like, yeah, I know my ish, man. I know what's up yeah. in, in the Philippines. I'm not just eating lechon like everybody else at the commercial place that Anthony Bourdain went. I'm going where Sunnyside went. Yeah. Okay. The new hot spots in town. And that is my gift to you. Good luck.